is Halloween Haunt here and welcome back to another Halloween video. In this Halloween video, we're going to be reviewing the Spear Halloween 2021 Vintage Clown Doll. Now, he is one of the few props I picked up at the Spear Halloween flagship store. I picked up all the dolls, Henry Hustle and Hennis Jack, so I'm going to be finally doing a review on this guy. I did the review yesterday on the Vintage Wolfman doll, so if you haven't, if you haven't checked that out, make sure you do. But anyways... Let's just go ahead and start with the review on the Vintage Clown Doll. We have the packaging right here. It says Spirit, Vintage Clown Doll, ages 14 plus, creepy effect, sound activated, uh, try me, press my belly, and here's a try me for it. I just put it on here so I don't lose it. On the back, it's just battery information on the Vintage, vintage Clown Doll. Up here, it does have the price tag, $24.99, which if you've already watched my Wolfman review, you already know that that's not the right price. Um, it's supposed to be $26.99 or $27. Um, so we'll, we'll talk about that price later. But anyways, let's first look at the doll itself. So here it is right here. I think as you can see here, it's a really cool looking doll. Um, it's definitely, I think in my opinion, better than the, than the Wolfman one. But I still like the Wolfman one a lot. I just like I, I just like this one a lot more. Um, so he is based off the kind of, uh, it's called Vintage Clown Doll. So it's kind of based off like the classic Halloween clown costumes mask etc and they're actually it, it this is also based off the um the vintage clown mask that spear halloween sold last year and this year it's made by, it's made by seasonal vintage international they both are so here's the mask for that it's right here i have it right here i actually bought it earlier this year because i wanted to have it when i had when i got this guy and it was still in stock there's only like two left it did it did return this year so if you want if you want when you can get one but as you can see there, it looks pretty much identical. There's some, you know, detail differences, but pretty much a similar sculpt right there. And, uh, yeah, I just think that's really cool how they've incorporated that into this doll. I hope, like I, I said this in my uh, Wolfman review, I hope we get the other masks turned into dolls also. I think it would be really cool. But anyways, with the shoes, you know, they're, they're the basic black uh, doll shoes. We, we've seen them a lot. We, right here we have his pants. They seem kind of more just like, can't tell if that's blood. I think it's supposed to be blood kind of splattered on his pants. Uh, his arms and sl his sleeves um, have this kind of orange, dark orange color. So there's the other one. And then his shirt is kind of, is really cool. It's actually his face on it or the mask um, on it. And it's really cool. I like, I like how it looks. Um, I like it a lot. Looks really cool in person also, and just kind of got like these orange uh, circles right here. I'm not, I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like candy or bubbles or something, but they're really cool. And he's got this cool orange pattern at the bottom of the shirt. Nothing on the back, unfortunately. It'd be kind of cool if this continued along the back, but it's fine. That's where the battery compartment is. There is the item number for it. And then there's the back of the head. Um, there's nothing like a strap for the mask, so I guess he's supposed to be in the mask and not like a little kid in the mask, I guess, uh, or or somebody in the mask. Um, so that's really cool. Um, that you know, like he, he just has this mask on him. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be, uh, you know, him in it, but it's fine. He's also got a top hat right here. It's done. It's done in this orange and kind of yellowish orange color, which is really cool. And there's some black around it. Underneath his nose, he does have like a black. Uh, line right here which is on the mask also so overall his detail is really great i like how this all looks a lot uh, this doll does have a couple of phrases i'm not sure how many so if i repeat one it's just because I, I don't know how many there are but this doll is i think the audio is definitely one of the best parts about it along with the face and design i love the audio so much i love the audio uh like the train sound effects in the background uh, that it has and just some kind of like the whistle sound effect. That's, I think it sounds really cool. I like his voice a lot too. Without further ado, let's actually show you guys his phrases. I'm the heaviest clown on earth. Here to be your best friend. Yep. Do it again. Be your best 
So yeah, that's pretty much all his phrases. I think they're great. Once again, I love the, the whistle, train sound effects. I love his voice. Kind of just the background music too is really great. I think this doll's awesome. When I first saw it, I was kind of mixed on it. So I don't know, but now seeing it in person and you know, after seeing it for a while, I love it a lot. It's definitely a doll. I am, it's, that's one of my favorite dolls made so far. Um, I love it a lot. Um, not as much as Crouchy or Uncle Charlie, which I will get those reviews out, out very soon, hopefully. But yeah, so overall, that's pretty much the vintage clown doll. Uh, I do think he should have been twenty dollars. I said the same thing in my Wolfman review. I think twenty bucks would have been a better price. Twenty seven is not bad, but it's nothing like that amazing for a price. But it's fine. It's just kind of meh price. But overall, that's pretty much it for the vintage clown doll review. Uh, even though the price is kind of iffy, I do recommend it. A coupon will, will lower that down. And he overall it just has a great design, great voice. I think this doll is awesome. I think anyone who does uh, circuses, doll themes, vintage Halloween will like, will like this guy a lot. He's definitely very awesome. I hope we get more of the masks turned into dolls soon, like the mummy one, Frankenstein, devil. Those would be really cool. So yeah, that is overall my review on the Spirit Halloween 2021 vintage clown doll. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to, to subscribe because I'm going to have so much more reviews coming up very soon. So many unboxings are coming this way. So yeah, so I, I hope you guys enjoyed. And make sure to subscribe.